So in today's video, we're gonna be going through the seasonal challenges for week seven and what Eververse is selling today. So I do this every week. So if you guys found this, found this video informative, liked it, uh, liking the video, subscribing, all of that really does help the channel grow. Checking out my other social medias, I have it all in the description below. So uh, if you guys can do that, that would very much be appreciated. It helps me in many ways. So let's get on with the video. So Wayfinder's Voyage 7, use the Wayfinder's Compass to complete Wayfinder's Voyage 7. Also defeat Taken or Scorn with shotguns anywhere in the system. Uh, again, not hard. Just make sure that you're killing stuff with uh, shotguns and make sure that that stuff you're killing is taken or scorn uh, again you could probably just complete this within the actual activity the seasonal activity itself so I might as you might as well just go complete that and wayfinders voyage is literally the quest that she gives you or the quest that you that they give you each week so unless you are not caught up then I highly suggest getting caught up and then doing this one umbral maven Focus tier three umbral engrams at the prismatic recaster in the helm. This one's not hard unless you don't have tier threes, then at that point it would be kind of annoying. But this one is more of a just like make sure you're keeping up with all the content because you will get tier, tier focus three like eventually because I have it already. Uh, freezer burn. Defeat combatants with stasis abilities, solar abilities or shatter damage. Combatants defeated with solar or stasis melee attacks award bonus progress. So again, this one's more of a just play the game and you'll eventually get this one. I'd suggest like if you're trying to get the Wayfinder's Voyage completed, then use a shotgun, but also use maybe use the the shotgun, the fracto fracto feast, whatever it's called, because that is stasis. So you're already killing two birds with one stone. Uh, efficient Layliner. Complete the alignment activity in under 10 minutes. This one's not hard. This one's just complete the activity in 10 minutes. This one, it's really not that hard. Astral Alignment. Um, actually, depends if you have a really bad team, but you shouldn't have a bad team. If this is the Astral Alignment I'm thinking about. Uh, complete Crucible matches in the Glory Rank playlist. Earn bonus progress for, win for the wins. This one's going to be annoying for a lot of people, including myself. I don't like to get into the Glory Rank playlist, but I mean, this one's not hard. Just complete a few matches. I think it's like 10 if you lose them all, and then like maybe 5 if you win them all. Uh, bring a fusion sword, defeat targets with fusion rifles and swords and gambit, defeating guardians grants additional progress. Uh, for this one, fusion rifle, you can use a heavy fusion rifle like like a thousand voices. You could probably do really well with that. For the sword, you could use uh, the one that actually shoots stuff out. I forget what it's called. You do a lot of things for this. If you don't care about that, then I mean, obviously, you could be using any fusion rifle and sword you want. And last but not least, uh, Con Conquest of the Mighty, complete any Nightfall Strike on Grandmaster. So this one's going to be annoying for a lot of people, considering Grandmaster just came out today, and you have to be like a certain level, and even then it's still kind of a bitch. Uh, and the Grandmaster that is up right now is not the best in my opinion, so this one's going to be annoying for a few people, but that's pretty much it. A lot of these are pretty much simple to do, considering like... It's all like either complete this or get kills with this. So yeah, this is, this week is not too too bad, which is pretty cool. But for Eververse, she is selling a few things actually. She's selling Wander's Wings, which I, I mean, if you like this, pop off. Uh, Cat Ear Dance, which I was told I need to buy this, I, even though I don't like it. Uh, the Bruised Blush, which is a pretty cool shader. Definitely really cool and she's also selling the chest piece for the minion armor for every class so i highly suggest you pick it up just because i do think this uh chess piece is pretty cool on pretty much everyone especially specifically warlock you definitely want to pick it up because that's your main centerpiece uh so protecting teammates this is the one that uh okay and then a ghost shell which looks pretty cool i definitely wouldn't buy it but i mean whatever and then Pragmatic Powerhouse, which is a Sparrow, which it exists. <laughs> Be Sneaky. Reef in Ruins, I actually do like this one a lot. And Penguin Projection, which no, I'm not gonna waste my time on buying that. And then the Hockey History Polish, which looks pretty cool. Then uh, Amethyst Bloom, which 
I mean, up to you, man. I'm, I'm personally not liking it, but that's just me. Abyssinian, Abyssinian, Abyssinian gold definitely suggests you scoop this up because it turns some armor just black, like straight up black. So if you want to go for the black look, you definitely want to pick this one up just because it, it is a really good shader. And then Boreal Care or Char. I like this one just because it, it has like a really cool green and like a really cool black as well. So if you guys are interested, I definitely suggest you scoop it up. And that's pretty much it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Uh, I'm pretty excited for the other stuff to come because we only need the helmet for the Nemean stuff. And then we'll be done with everything because I, I need to save up glimmer for nick for or i need to save up bright dust for for the next expansion so i'm kind of hoping they don't have any more cool stuff god i hope but let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on my social media links are in the description below i thank you all for coming up to this point and i'll see you guys later